Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the Workshare Compare program to compare two Word documents. Now there are two different ways that I'm going to walk you through doing it. One is through using the integration within Word, and the second option is using the Workshare Compare program itself. So for the first example, we're going to do it through Word. So the first thing you want to do is have one of your documents open. For my example, I opened up the original document since that's the first one I'm going to be comparing. From this point, what you want to do is you want to go to the Workshare Compare integration. So we'll navigate over to the right to the Workshare tab. Once you click on it, it'll open up the Workshare Compare ribbon. And from here, what we want to do is choose Compare. So we'll go over to the left to the Compare group and choose the Compare button. Once you click on the Compare button, it's going to open up the Workshare Compare dialog box. And this is where you would choose your documents, how you want the comparisons to appear within the document, and also the comparison mode. So we're going to start at the top of the dialog box and work our way down. Like I said, the first thing you need to do is choose your documents. Now I had opened up my original document. However, if you notice here, it put my original in the modified area. If it does this for you, all you need to do is click the switch button and it'll switch the order of the documents. Now my original document is listed in the area called Original Document. From here, all I need to do is add my not modified document. So I'll come over and click on the Open Folder button. You also have this option up here for the original document. So if you had opened up the modified and you now needed to choose the original, you would click the Open Folder button from here instead of here. However, for my example, I need to choose my modified, so I'll click Open. And from here, you navigate out to where the document is. Once you find the document, you can either highlight it and click Open or double click on it. And now it has added the document to the modified document area. At this point, we're ready to move to the bottom half of the Workshare Compare dialog box. And this is where you would choose the rendering set. Workshare Compare uses colors and different formats in the red line to enable you to see the changes that have been made to your, the documents. These colors and formats depend upon the rendering set that you apply to your comparison. If we click the drop down arrow next to standard, you can see the various rendering sets that are available to us. If you'd like to see an example or a preview of what the rendering set would look like, you can click on the document button next to the rendering set to see that. So if we click on this button here, it's going to take us out to our rendering sets. And as you can see, we had had the standard chosen. So it's going to give us a preview of the standard. And it's also going to show us the comparison options, the red line options, and the red line rendering. If we wanted to make any modifications to it, we could do that here and save it as a new rendering set. Or we can come out and choose one of the other rendering sets. So for example, if we wanted to see with the standard with um, carrots for deletes, we would choose that. And now you can see over here in the preview, it changed it to a carrot instead of showing us the strike through. Come back and change it to whatever you want to choose. Okay. Once you've chosen which one you want, just click the OK button and it'll list it in the rendering set. Now you need to choose your comparison mode. FAST is the default for it. And what FAST means is that when it's comparing Word documents, the comparison is done at a binary level, which is faster than the standard comparison. If we click on the drop-down arrow, you can see your options that are available to you. You've got FAST, standard, and text only. Now, if you choose text only, that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to compare only the text within the document. No comparison of formatting or styles. Let's go ahead and just leave it at FAST. Once you've made all your changes, you've got your documents set, click the OK button. Once you click the OK button, it's going to go ahead and run the comparison. Now at this point, what's happened is it's opened up the Workshare Compare program and it's compared your documents within it. If we start at the left, you'll notice we've got what's called the Change Summary tab. This is going to show us a summary of the changes made within our document. Now we're in the Category view, we could change it to the list view and it would list them, what page it's on, which one it is by numbering and so forth. Or we can change it to the status view, what's been accepted, what's not been accepted and go through the document that way as well. We'll switch it back to our category. 
If we come below there where it says accepting category, you'll see we've got a little arrow. When you click on the arrow, it will expand out and show you all of the uncategorized changes for the category view. Now if we move over to the right, we have our source documents, our original and then our revised. So at this point, we could scroll through these documents if we wanted to see what they look like on their own instead of looking at it through our summary document, our changes. If we go to the end of our document, we have a summary of the comparison. So it'll show us our documents, and then it's also going to give us a legend of what the changes are within the document, what they mean. At the bottom, it'll give us the statistics, how many insertions, deletions, and moves, and so forth were in the document. Going to the very top, we've got our home tab for WorkShare Compare, and from here, we could do a save as to save our comparison document, save it as a Word document with track changes. We could also email out the document as a PDF attachment. So if I click on that, it's going to go through and it's going to convert it to a PDF and attach it to an email. Here's the email, the attached PDF, and if I open up the PDF, you can see the comparison document. Now if I want to go through and accept changes or reject changes from here, I come back over to the change summary and from here I can select which changes I want to accept. Once I've selected the changes, I can click apply accepted changes. What this is going to do is it's going to apply the changes to my document and take me back to it in Word with those changes applied. So from here I could go ahead and save it it has not closed out WorkShare Compare, so I can go back to the program and I've still got everything set up from here so I could do what I need to do from it as well. So before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and save it as a track changes document. Now you can see when you do it, it takes the original name dash the revised document name so that you can see what you've been comparing. But you can rename it to whatever you want. So if I go back to Word now, do my open and find that document, you can see it as a track changes document. So I could send it off to somebody and they can accept, reject the changes, or I can go through it later, or I can just save it as a document with track changes so I can see exactly what was done with it as a historical document. So go ahead and close out of that. Now, like I said, you can also do this through the WorkShare Compare program itself. When I open up WorkShare Compare, it's going to do exactly the same thing as when I click the Compare button within Word. It's going to give me the options to choose my documents. Clicking on the down arrow will remember documents that you've used recently, so I could go ahead and choose my documents from here. Or again, I can use the Open Folder buttons to choose my documents as well. Come down and choose my rendering set. Choose OK. It's going to run the comparison. Now because I told it text only, it's taken all the formatting out of the document to run it as a text only comparison. And just like when it was done within the Word program, once you click the comparison or click OK, it's going to run it and it's going to open up the WorkShare Compare program. So I'm back to where I was when I had done it within Word. We're in the WorkShare Compare program. I've got my summary tab. I can see all my changes to the document. I've got my source documents, the original and the revised. I can scroll through my changes. Since I don't have Word open or I did not do this through Word, what I can do is I can come up to the convert group and I can tell it to open in Word with track changes or open in Word so I can have the document available there. So here's my document. When I clicked on it, I said open in Word with track changes. So I've got my track changes here. So I can go ahead and make my revisions to the document, accept whatever changes I wanted through my track changes. So it's just another way to use the program. And again, this WorkShare Compare is doing comparison of Word documents. There's other features available as well. It's a very powerful tool that allows you to compare more than just actual text changes made to the document. You can compare your formatting of the document, compare styles, see where changes are in those as well. So it's an excellent tool to use.